Hello and welcome to the first Feathers and Fangs Creature Feature, a weekly series in which I talk about some of the amazing animals that we get to share this planet with. My name is Zach, and this week we're going to be talking about otters. Otters are members of the weasel family related to such animals as ferrets and badgers. Otters are aquatic mammals, perfectly adapted for life in the water with webbed feet, long tails that help them steer in the water, and thick coats to keep them warm. Otters are carnivorous and hunt things such as fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Around the world there are 13 species of otters, anywhere from the North American River Otter to the Sea Otter to the Giant Amazonia Otter that can reach lengths up to 5 feet. Otters can be found on every continent except for Antarctica and Australia. Otters are social animals, enjoying each other's company. They communicate using a system of clicks, beeps, whistles, and grunts. Otters also demonstrate the ability to form social bonds similar to primates by ways of social grooming, game playing, and communal hunting. Now while all otters are perfectly adapted to life in the water, the sea otter takes things to the next level. Sea otters are some of the only animals outside of primates that are known to use tools. A sea otter's diet consists mostly of crustaceans and shellfish, so that means that they need to break into the shells of their prey animals, and to do this, they use rocks. Once a sea otter has its prey, it will place a flat rock on its stomach, then it will place the prey item on that rock and it will use a smaller, more manageable rock to crack into the sea urchin or the crab or the abalone, whatever it has caught, and it'll get all those little yummy bits inside for it to eat. Now, as I've said, all otters are social animals, but the giant Amazonian river otter takes things to another level entirely. Giant otters can form groups with members up to 20 or 30 individuals, and they do everything together. Grooming, they will orchestrate hunting, they even have a system of communal pup rearing for raising their young. Otters are also firm believers in the safety in numbers principle. Groups of otters will often band together and push away a predatory threat. For example, short-clawed otters in Asia have been known to mass up and drive away full-grown crocodiles. Sadly, around the world, otters are facing threats to their survival, including pollution, habitat destruction, and competition for resources. Otters have also been plagued by centuries of fur hunting. Such dense fur that allows them to stay warm in the water also meant that it was very, very desirable for making things like coats, hats, and other garments. But thanks to conservation efforts, all otter species around the world are protected and most are seeing an increase in their population. If you'd like more info on otter conservation, go ahead and check the link down in the description. That'll give you a lot of information on what you can do to help and what others are doing to help otters worldwide. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have suggestions for other animals that you'd like me to do a creature feature on, go ahead and leave that down below in the comments section. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking here. You can like us on Facebook by clicking here. And thank you for joining me on the Furs, Feathers, and Fangs creature feature.